I'm certain that everyone seated here and indeed Nigerians at large have witnessed the seismic shifts that have taken place within the nation's foreign exchange market over the course of the last several days and the strengthening uh, of the Nigerian Naira against the United States dollar. Uh, this is clearly the direction all of us have wanted to head in. Uh, and uh, we are very sober to the fact that this is no time to rest or to clap. Uh, this is a time to deepen our efforts, to dig in, uh, and to work harder, uh, which is why His Excellency President Bola Metinubu uh, has approved uh, a series of interventions uh, to ensure that uh, we see a mass strengthening uh, of the Nigerian Naira against all uh, other global currencies. Uh, one is His Excellency President Bola Metinubu wants to communicate very clearly to our people that there has never been a more important time in our history to actively agree together that we will patronize and purchase made in Nigeria products across all value chains across all sectors. There is an intentionality that we must have on this issue, that we want a strong currency. We want the spending power of our people to go up. We want every Naira and Kobo we earn to be more valuable, not just here, uh, but when we travel abroad. The way to achieve that is by doing just this. Uh, in addition to that, uh, His Excellency, Mr. President, beyond the appeal to Nigerians to actively and intentionally make that decision every day to patronize made in Nigeria products and services across the board, uh, he is also wanting to ensure that Nigerians fully understand that the momentum that we are now seeing with respect to the strengthening of our currency is not going to slow down. The efforts that uh, Mr. President has put in place with collaboration uh, with uh, other agencies of government, uh, as well as the Central Bank of Nigeria, uh, in dealing decisively with sharp practices uh, on certain cryptocurrency trading platforms, uh, dealing decisively with sharp practices uh, within the parallel market of the foreign exchange uh, uh, you know, ecosystem, uh, that these things are now yielding fruit. What we now uh, will need to see is an active effort uh, on the part of our people to blow the whistle wherever they see uh, any of these uh, sharp practices taking place, to communicate with the agencies directly that deal with these issues, and understanding that uh, this is not a government versus uh, malign actors issue. This is a Federal Republic of Nigeria versus malign actors issue. Um, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu uh, is going to ensure that our micro, small, and medium scale enterprises in the country have what they need uh, to get through this difficult period, which is why he has approved the Presidential Conditional Grant Scheme in which over one million Nigerian businesses uh, will be empowered uh, with conditional grants. This is money they will not have to pay back of up to 50,000 Naira uh, per, per nano enterprise. Uh, with over 1,000 nano enterprises being uh, selected uh, and granted these funds uh, within each and every local government area of the Federation. One million nano enterprises. In addition to that, over 150 billion Naira uh, has, is being dispersed uh, from the Bank of Industry and Smedan. Uh, on single-digit interest rate loans uh, of up to 2 million Naira uh, to hundreds of thousands of uh, small and medium-scale enterprises across all local government areas of the Federation. And of course, the President is determined to ensure that uh, we steer lending toward labor-intensive and inclusive uh, you know, developing sectors of the economy, ensuring that uh, sectors like agriculture and manufacturing get the bulk of uh, lending uh, moving forward. Uh, sectors like construction, the same thing. Uh, we want to ensure that those industries uh, and sectors that are massively employing our people uh, are those industries that are prioritized with respect to uh, government intervention, which is why the President has approved uh, over 75 billion Naira to be dispersed 
to 75 large-scale manufacturers across all states of the Federation. These are going to be manufacturers who employ over 1,000 Nigerians in each of their uh, facilities and industries. Uh, we are going to ensure that they have the support that they need at the large scale uh, so that Nigerian families who rely on these large scale businesses uh, are protected. Uh, we want to see our large scale industries not just refuse to fire uh, people, but to actively increase and expand uh, their hiring uh, at this difficult time. So the president is doing everything he can uh, to ensure that he steps in uh, to ease the burden on families while also ensuring that he holds the public sector and the federal government of Nigeria accountable uh, to prudent spending, uh, ensuring that we cut down drastically uh, on uh, you know, travel uh, you know, expenditures, ensuring that uh, with the uh, temporary ban that is being put in place from April 1st on uh, all but necessary foreign travel, uh, we are expecting to save over 5 billion naira uh, per quarter. Uh, this is going to be one out of several initiatives the president is taking uh, to ensure that uh, we reduce uh, waste uh, in, in the public sector in such a way that we can actually steer uh, these very needed uh, recurrent resources uh, into the hands of those who are doing important work on behalf of the Nigerian people. For example, Nigerians are well aware uh, that uh, judicial officers in the country are going to finally have internationally competitive uh, pay rates, uh, salary scales, uh, which is very important for us, very strategic in the sense that uh, we can dramatically reduce uh, the impact that corruption has always played uh, in the judiciary, uh, which has an impact on not just the ability of Nigerians to, uh, you know, get effective uh, justice uh, in the country, but also to ensure that uh, businesses who we are now asking around the world to invest in Nigeria uh, have a judicial system that they can trust uh, with respect to uh, any litigation that could arise from uh, business practice uh, in the country. The effects are huge, uh, and the president is taking a multi-sectoral and comprehensive approach uh, to ensuring that we bring uh, prudence uh, to uh, government expenditure at a time when uh, we are restructuring the economy of the Federation in such a way that uh, sectors that are employing our people, that are empowering our people, uh, are those sectors that uh, will be able to more easily access lending both commercially uh, and from, uh, you know, public sector sources. Uh, so uh, the momentum of the Nigerian Naira and its strengthening, uh, Nigerians should expect that to continue. Yes, we understand that there's still going to be volatility to some extent, uh, but we are seeing a, a, a lessening impact of that volatility. And as we move forward with the interventions Mr. President is making in the foreign exchange market and will continue to make, we will see increasing stability. Uh, and the last point uh, we want to emphasize is that President Bola Metunubu, while he's dealing decisively uh, with the issue of the spending power of every Naira and Kobo that Nigerians uh, are earning today. Uh, he is also ensuring that uh, we bring uh, a, a, a sustainable strength to the currency so that when we talk about a new minimum wage, because many uh, of our people have asked, um, you know, government officials about when the new minimum wage is coming in, those negotiations are ongoing. Uh, but what we do not want is a situation in which the minimum wage continues to be what it has always been in the history of our country, which is a moving goalpost. If we do not get a firm grip on the value of our currency, and it continues to be a, a volatile, uh, devaluing asset, then whatever we do with the national minimum wage is going to essentially become a moot point, uh, a nullity. Uh, and so we are focused on ensuring that, yes, we arrive at a new minimum wage that states can afford uh, and that uh, will deal with all of the needs of Nigerian families across the country. But we also want to ensure that what we peg it at uh, is something that is sustainable over a number of years based on the, a long-term uh, you know, uh, stability that we want to bring to the Nigerian Naira with the interventions we're presently making. Uh, and this is the... Uh, point uh, that His Excellency Mr. President uh, wants to emphatically make today. Uh, there is stability coming to the currency. We're getting closer to it. Uh, and when the new minimum wage comes into effect, uh, it is going to 
uh, be one that will be sustained over a long period of time by a stable uh, Nigerian Naira based on uh, the interventions being made under his leadership. 